Hey friend, it's Brian. Look, if this is my first time seeing you in 2019, Happy New Year, Happy 2019. I'm hope, hope is going, uh, starting off real good for you. And my, my 2019 is starting off real good, but I am having a little bit of a hard time. Like, uh, I, it's like a delayed start for me. Like, I'm just now getting myself together and like getting into the swing of things. That makes any sense. Anyway, what I'm really doing is I'm not... I usually try to have a game plan, but that's just really not working. So I'm gonna go back to what I was doing before and <laughs> just being random uh, and just going with the flow because I have so many projects going on that I really can't, um, I can't, <laughs> just put it like that. So I'm kind of going to this huge to-do list I have and it's clicking on random videos. Uh, like, oh man, I've been meaning to watch this. I'm clicking on it right now. That's what's going on. So I had a plan in mind what I was going to watch and I haven't watched anything on that plan. <laughs> but that's where hanging out is. The conversation that, conversations, and this is a conversation. It goes where it goes, all right? So um, if you are my friend already, look, come on, hang out with me. Be my friend. 2019 is so you get to make friends. So just make friends with me. All right, and that's how it works. Me and my friends, we get together on this YouTube thing, watch some of the coolest videos that I would know nothing about unless I had good people in my life to tell me about them, and that's where you guys come in. Because you, you drop down the comments, let me know what artists, what songs, and music videos, live performances we need to watch. And look, we get we get around to watching them. We do, we do, okay? Um, and we choose music because music is such a great, great tool uh, that can take you where you are and me where I am and merge us together with wherever the artist is. And we just go on this musical vacation together. Um, and along the way, we picked up a whole bunch of friends in so many different places. So friends, drop down in the comments. Let me know where you at, uh, what city, what state, what country, or continent, because you have a friend in New Orleans, Louisiana. And with that being said, y'all, this is on my to-do list. I totally forgot about this, but Sam Smith sang a song with Yabba. We watching it is right now, okay? And this is uh, called No Peace. I'm this man right on the piano. Sing, Sam. Come on, Yaba. Come, don't do him like that now. <laughs> Come on, Sam. the whole video now that was on sam smith's official channel why you didn't upload the whole video sam i was just into that hold on hold, hold on friend now i'm mad now that's on sam smith world Viv vivo is that not his official channel hold on let me just google this i'm mad i was into this <laughs> why mm. we're going this Yes. Oh, won't you give me the fire 
I heard this. I'm mad I had to go back two times to find the whole song. There was only one part of that song I didn't like, and that was the like the uh, the, the bridge or the, the third part. Like at the first verse, chorus, second verse, chorus, the third part, whatever you want to call it, the bridge. I, I just felt like they, uh, I wanted more. I wanted more uh, more in that moment. Uh, but other than that, that was amazing. Amazing. Baby. You ever push Sam to sing in a way that his for me? First off, Sam. No, let me. I'm, let me take it back. First, I think Sam Smith is one, if not the best vocalist uh, that that's coming from this this current generation. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what it is, but this generation, he's like one of the the, the voices of it, and he has this really unique way of singing. Uh, sometimes he sounds like a um like a. If you close your eyes and you didn't know what Sam, somehow he sounds or he sings in a way similar to like a very, a big black woman. You know what I mean? Like a gospel influenced black woman. Like he sang Latch, like a big black woman back in the 90s would sing it. You know, like CNC Music Factory and all them people. Um, 
And he also has this really, really interesting use of his falsetto or that tone in his voice. I don't know what I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is, but it's almost very reminiscent of Anita Baker in a, in a way. And in this song, I was picking up like Anita Baker tease, shall we say? Um, I'm not sure if she's one of his influences influences or not, but like I. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. He has a very unique voice. I think he's one of the best voices. Uh, but he doesn't usually sing hard to me. Um, he's a smooth singer. You know what I mean? Like, he sings hard, but he's still smooth. But he sings, oh, it's, he's so unique. But baby, Yeba don't play no games. That's Yeba Deba do. That's, that's what I call her. Yeba don't play no games. And she required Sam to finesse this song in a way I haven't heard him finesse a song in a while. <laughs> Like, she was pushing him. Oh, and yeah, but this don't play no games, baby. I don't know why I just heard this song. I don't know why it's not a single. I like the song with Normani, but baby, this is the duet that I like right here. This is the one that, sh this is the one, this is the one. What album was this from? What was this? Let me know, because I don't know. I'm I'm totally upset that I, I didn't click on this before, uh, this moment. This is incredible. This is incredible. This might be my... I don't know. I'm not going to say this is my favorite yellow moment because she's blowing my mind. But I like this. I like this on her a lot. I like this from Sam, too. Like, what album on this, is this on? I, you know, and then, look, I didn't hear all of the Sam Smith album. And that's my bad. So it could have been on one. And I'm just, I didn't hear all of it. So, my bad. But why wasn't this a single? This is one of the best duets I've, I've heard in a long time. It just didn't have that nice climax that I like in a third part or bridge. It just didn't do that. But other than that, it was really, really good. And I think vocally, the book could handle a climax. So I don't know why it wasn't one. But anyway, look, this video might be lasting a little bit long because I had to go back and double back on it. So I'm going to end it here. I love you guys. If you are my friend already, look, I won't have no peace till you hit the subscribe button. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. Make some more suggestions for Sam Smith and Yelba down in the comments. And I love you guys. I'm going to see you in the next video, okay? Peace.